let's take a quick look at using the Google LTI, the external tool with Canvas that allows you to make a copy for each student. There's a lot of steps, but once you've done this a few times, I think you'll get it. The first thing I did is I made sure I had the document open. It's most common to use with slide decks or Google Docs, um, but you can also make a copy of a Google drawing or even Jamboards, anything Google, a spreadsheet or so on. So I have this copy open just so it's handy in my most recent documents. And I'm making sure that I am the owner of this document. If you are not the owner, not an editor, the owner, you must be the owner, you will not be able to do the make a copy. That's just like Google Classroom. So I am the owner of this document and I want a copy for each student. So let's go back into Canvas and I'm gonna start from Assignments. And I'm gonna make sure I'm following the conventions of naming this assignment, putting it in a module, making sure it's in an assignment category. So here we go. I'm in my sandbox. I have a lot of different categories, so let's see what works. I'm going to add an assignment. I'm going to right away name that assignment. Veterans Day Hyperdoc, 11-3-21, get that date in there. In this rich content editor, you must type some type of goal. You could put standards in there as well that you'll be assessing when you're using Google LTI. This is parent's window to what students are doing. So you can see I've typed the very bare minimum uh, try to get in the habit of giving your parents some information, adding visual cues for your students as well. So a brief goal. All right, now I'm going to scroll down. Points. One or four is usually what I do. If you want to score on a three-point scale that, or a four-point scale, then give it a four. Assignment group. Let's throw it into social studies. Display grade. You can do complete, incomplete, or you can do points if you want to put a number with that. We'll leave it complete, incomplete. Always check, do not count this assignment toward the final grade. Submission type, you want to choose external tool. Next, do not copy and paste in this box. You need to click find and you need to locate that external tool, which is Google Assignments LTI 1.3. Now it's going to ask you to link or connect to your Google Drive. There it is, we'll click continue. It's taking me to my Google Drive, and I'm going to click Attach. Here comes my Google Drive. I brought up that slide deck, so here I am in Recent Documents. Give it a chance to load. It should be right here once it loads because I just clicked on it. There we go. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I located it. Look, I'm the owner, so we'll go ahead and click Add. It already says each student will get a copy. Points. I'm going to match the points, make it say four. Due date. Due dates are nice because then it shows up in your student's to-do list and parents get a notification as well. Let's put it out to the 16th. Done. So it stays available for a while. Click Create. Let Google do its magic. Now, here's the tricky part. It looks like it's booted me out. This is supposed to happen. You clicked Find. You found the external tool. Now click Select. When you click Select, you will see that Canvas has filled in the assignment URL. Doesn't matter if you load in a new tab because Google Assignments will always load in a new tab, so we're going to let it be like this. It'll be less clicks for your student. Decide on how many attempts, limited or unlimited. Assign to everyone or a small group. Match the due date to what you did earlier. If you want to schedule it, use the available. If you want it to only be available until a certain time and then go away from their list, I usually do it to match that date as well. You can always change it if you need it to be longer. And then finally, save and publish. And you are good to go. Here's how you know you did it right. You will see the name of your assignment, you'll see the goal, and 
As it loads, you will see it will say Google Assignments. You will see the name of the assignment. You'll see one attached file. And you'll see a spot here waiting for student submissions that you'll see when you'll click on it. That is all there is to it. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you to support your use of Google LTI.